Okay, so now that we can actually move our camera around this little cube, let's go through the process of actually moving this guy around and creating a couple different objects. So um, I'll just, uh, once again, I'm going to pause the video while I write down our next uh, group of tooltips here. Okay, so we have finished typing. Um, just reading through our movement tools here. Uh, if you want to move an object, you are going to tap W on your keyboard for, um, I don't know, where do you want to move? And you will left mouse button drag any of the arrows in the direction you want to move it. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, you always need to actually select your object. So let's actually just go back in here and uh, we'll just add that in. Select the object you want to move. Um, you can tell you have an object selected if you get those little green outlines. And if I tap W, you'll see I now have these little arrows pointing out to my object. And just as I said in the note here, if you left click, left mouse button drag any of the arrows in the direction you want to move. So if I want to go up, and if I hover my mouse, you'll see my arrow highlights red, uh, yellow. If I want to go up, I just drag that left mouse button drag that arrow up. If I want to go to the left here, which is, it's blue, and if I look at my little compass, you'll see the blue one is a Z, so it's my Z axis. Um, I just left click and drag on the Z axis. If I want to go to the right here, and again that's red, and if I look at my compass down here, it's uh, X. So if I want to go right, I just left click drag on that on the X axis. Now there is a box in the very middle of this um, manipulator handle, that's what these things are called, manipulator handles. Uh, and that little box, if I click on that, I can move in all directions at once. But I don't recommend that because it's really easy to um, move a box somewhere that you, you didn't plan to, and it's kind of hard to see that. Because you're, you're moving an object in 3D space on a 2D screen. So it's really hard to see where it ends up. What I actually recommend you do is I always recommend you move it, move your camera. So move the object, move your camera, move the object, move your camera. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So let's just create a couple different objects here. So we've got one cube, and I'll just move that over to the side. Create another cube, and I'll just move that, and bring this guy on top of the top of that one. And I want to move my camera to make sure it looks good in all angles. And let's bring in uh, a cone, because you know, why not? Why not? I'll just move that one up, and again, you'll see as I'm moving an object around, I am constantly moving my camera to just make sure it is looking good from all 360 degrees. Uh, this is particularly important in games because, you know, a player is going to get up in everywhere, and they are going to explore um, everything, so you want to try and make that sure everything in your game looks good from all directions. Um, I can move multiple objects at a time, by dragging a selection box around all those objects, or select one, and if I'm holding down shift, I can select multiple objects. And so that lets me move all of them at once. So I can now grab this cube and bring it in and uh, have it join its fellows over there. And once again, just you can see me constantly moving my camera to make sure that this thing looks good from multiple angles. So you will just you will just get used to this process of moving a little bit in one direction at a time and moving your camera. And it's not all lined up perfectly. There is actually a tool called the Align Tool, which will let you do that. Um, but if my job was just to stack some objects, those are some stacked objects. Okay, so that's your those are your movement tools. Um, next one we'll go through is rotate.